The action rolls on at the MansionPoker.com. Poker Dome Challenge. We are down to heads up play, and this is how Marlon Delanois got a major tip chip lead. Knocks out Jared Mueller, making a split second, last second all in call. So he is in a commanding position. Rob Mariano is his challenger right now with 74,000 in chips. And Marlon Delanois, 226,000 in chips, as we say. Heads up play. And Michael, do us the honor of explaining this how the rules work when we go heads up. A little bit different. Now the players can raise no limit both pre and post flop. And each player is granted one 30-second time extension to think about those tough decisions. And before tonight's action, both players sat down and told us how they'd play it if they got into a heads-up situation. Well, during the game play, I'd have a feeling for the person. Now, it depends on the chip count. If I'm leading three to one, then I'd probably bully him around. But if I'm losing, then I'd wait for a good hand and put the pressure and just keep going all in. If I get to heads up play in this thing, don't blink because it might be quick. And both players significant other out in the audience. That is Marlon's fiance, Jaina, to the left. And on the right, Amber, Rob's wife, both cheering their guys on, hoping to bring home the $25,000. Marlon just got engaged just hours ago. Well, talk about foreshadowing. He cool. says, if I were a 3-to-1 chip leader. He is exactly a 3-to-1 chip leader here. So he said he's going to try to bully, bully the competition. And Rob said this could go quickly. The flop comes 8, king, and ace. Delanois. Check. Pair of kings. 5. 6. Minimum bet. Good enough to win it. So we'll see if Delanois stands true to his word and flexes up here. One big problem for Rob Mariano is he just saw the chip leader, Delanois, make an incredible call. When you are the short stack and you're not being dealt a lot of cards, you've got to get chips by bluffing, by pushing Bluff. a guy off of his hands. Marlon Delanois just sent a message by turning over that 9-7 on the Jared Mueller elimination saying, man, I am cool. not bluffable. Ain't nobody going to push me around. And he called this. Again, we will see a flop. Deuce, eight, deuce. Mariano's still in the lead with his jack high. 24. Very bold bet. It represents a large proportion of Mariano's stack, and it's going to work. So Rob Mariano, still a 2-1, to one, more than a 2-1 to one underdog in the chip count, cool. trying to climb his way back. Delanois calls with his 5-4 suit. Check. A little bit nervous. No, the flop comes 9, bit. ace, Scary. king. A check. To the better. Check. 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 Ten on the turn. Some chatter back Check. and forth. To the better. This is the kind of hand that Mariano just wants to show down. And a queen on the river. Check. Ten. He will win the minimum, but 12,000 chips, very useful when he only started with 86. I think Delanois picked up a little bit that he knew Mariano wasn't that strong, though, because he almost bucked his cards, and that's what he asked him. Say, are you a little bit nervous? So these guys feel a little bit of that pressure. Heads up. Raise John heads up, the more. guy with the button cool. has the small blind and acts first before the flop. After the flop, he gets to act last. That's why you'll see a lot of raises from the button position. In this case, Mariano has the best hand with the king nine. Flop comes jack, ace, nine. Mariano. Bottom pair, but heads up. More 24. often than not, both guys will whiff on the flop. That means if you catch any piece of it at all, come out, bet. There you go. How much? Our blinds are increasing inside the poker dome. 5,000 and 10,000. So without anybody making a move, we have 15 grand sitting in the pot. Cool. Mary 
Mariano with five seconds to act. Sure. Sure. Checks it down. We go to the flop. Ace, seven, deuce. We've seen all kinds of aces on the board tonight. Neither player has one at this point. Delanois has position and, coincidentally, the best hand with a 10 high and bets it rather emphatically. A little bit of authority on that one. Good enough for the victory. And we'll get a chance to see tonight as this heads-up play continues whether or not Rob Mariano can use some of his moves that he's learned from Daniel, Daniel Negreanu. Chris, well, with a pocket pair here, I expect Delanois to 21. push back. All in! Wow. A strong move by Delanois. And although the odds show us that Mariano is in fact 50-50 here, there is down. no way he can call with a 10 high. He wow. has two overcards to the pocket pair, but there's a million hands that beat him. Let's it go. A strong all-in bet from Delanois. And now that we are in heads up play, you don't just have to do pot limit on the bet. You can do all in, and he used that as his strength and his advantage, as he predicted he would do. And this is now the largest lead for Delanois. Ooh, and look at this situation. Cool. Both players with a king. Mariano's just a little bit better. Okay. He's got Delanois pipped. If a king comes, this could be interesting. Ooh, the eight for Delanois. Eight, seven, and the deuce. We have a new leader. Check. 20. You can't check with me. You check, you're weak. You bet? Eh. Something different. I think Delanois is giving away his hand here. Wow! Time extension! Rob Mariano extends and needs to away. think about this. Is this the hand? Is this the one you want to go on? You feel strong about it? I just want you to bet. You're not that strong. You're running out of time. Do you want me to call? Watch your lights. Do you want me to? Watch your lights. You don't want to. He doesn't want to. And that is it. Yeah, nothing. Time has you know. run out on Rob Mariano. I know it. He no longer has a time extension, and he only has a handful of chips compared to our chip leader, Marlon Delanois. Delanois working his advantage. Flexing up on Mariano. We'll be back at the Magic Hope you don't challenge.